And weather-wise, well, we're not quite dealing with the 84 degrees that we're expecting in L.A. today. We're a little bit colder here in northeast Ohio. Another cold shot as you take a live look at CSU cam right now. There are some snowflakes flying of the lake effect variety here this morning. Those are going to continue as we go throughout the day. In fact, I think the snow will kind of ramp up again this afternoon. We'll explain why here in a second. But your Sunday snapshot looks like this. Yeah, we've got snow showers today. But we're talking spring like temps this week. What a turnaround in both directions. We're not only going to go up, but we're going to crash back down later this week. So a very important forecast coming up. And then we've got a winter storm we're keeping an eye on that'll affect us Thursday and Friday of this week as well. Looks like we'll be mainly on the warm side, but the backside could produce some problems as well. Here's the lake effect. We've got really a northeast wind across the lake producing some banding that's heading into areas of Lorain County and Erie County. We've got some moisture off Lake Michigan. We, we get that, believe it or not. That's coming across with these west to east moving snow showers. Nothing organized, but these can sneak up on you when they're kind of going all different directions, all waiting on a system off towards the east coast. This is going to produce some minor snow accumulations, probably on the order of one to three inches DC out towards Boston again. But for us, we're waiting on this little area energy. You have to look at the water vapor. You see this little uh, trough here moving in little area of circulation. This is going to kickstart some more lake effect snow showers and general snow showers this afternoon, and we could see I think minor accumulations for most, but maybe a couple inches if we see some of that banding develop, especially out towards the west. All of us dealing with cold today. This is another Arctic hit as this swings through. It's got about a two day residence. So today and tomorrow are going to be cold and look at some of these numbers. Boy, it's really cold. Eight Chicago minus four Minneapolis. This one gets all the way down towards the deep south as well. Local numbers feeling more like the teens outside low 20s elsewhere. You factor in the wind, which is fairly light this morning. We're talking wind chills that are generally in the low teens. So as we go with your national Zymart hour by hour forecast. Notice the snow picking up in coverage as we go through the midday and early afternoon may have some heavier bursts in here as well. If you're outside of these, not going to be dealing with much other than mostly cloudy skies. You can see as we go throughout the day, perhaps some banding developing with some Lake Michigan moisture as well out towards the west. So areas near their secondary snow belt out towards the west Medina County, Lorraine County may pick up a couple inches of snow before it's all said and done again. I think it'll be very localized though. Tonight, though, we should say goodbye to the snow. Notice how we clear things out. We'll have a mix of clouds and sun for your Valentine's Day. It's going to be cold once again. Temperatures will generally be in the 20s. So your Valentine's Day forecast, we're talking cold conditions. The morning, 13, 19 by noon. Lots of cuddling tomorrow, as it looks right now. In terms of that forecast for that winter storm next week, well, it's going to bring in a strong southerly wind, and we'll talk about that more in the next half hour. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. Big, big bump in temps. We're in the 50s, Isabel, on Wednesday. Rain changes to wintry mix and ice Thursday, and then it turns colder on the backside of the system.